The theme of uh, Astro this year was artificial intelligence and emotional intelligence. And I think those two things really complement each other. Um, as I sort of mentioned earlier, um, I think AI can give uh, sort of free up clinicians from sort of the uh, documentation tasks, you know, a lot of the sort of um, uh, tasks that could benefit from automation and give um, clinicians more time with the patient. And Erin Gillespie from Memorial Sloan Kettering sort of highlighted this in, in one of her talks in the presidential symposium. Um, the um, sort of broad theme, um, we had a couple of sessions sort of discussing uh, the fundamentals of of AI in uh in sort of, I, I guess, pertinent to radiation oncology, and maybe like, I guess I'd say oncology more broadly. Um, so the sort of first highlight session was oriented around discussing sort of different things that are, um, I guess, different ty types of technology that are close to sort of ready for, you know, prime time, or I guess more evaluation. So there was discussion on things like radiation treatment planning, which I think is a natural application um, of of AI. So uh, either um, auto segmentation type tasks, so helping to identify uh, normal structures or targets on a CT scan, um, or radiation treatment planning, sort of developing how a radiation plan should be designed. Um, there was a lot of discussion on that. There was discussion on sort of computer vision applications and patho on pathology slides. Um, and um and those were kind of the highlights of 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 the first session the second uh presidential symposium uh session um uh, was focused more on sort of the long-term vision of where ai can take us um and sort of how can it improve cancer care um so touching on a few of the things that that we were discussing earlier so um, how how do we how do we better design clinical trials with ai how do we implement ai and evaluate them appropriately in clinics to make sure that they're actually both accurate but also beneficial for patients um how we can sort of support us in the long term um, and then a couple of interesting topics as well, sort of focused on um, social determinants of health um, and how uh, that data is aggregated and how important that is, especially in the context of potential bias and algorithms. Um, and then uh, uh, the last sort of, I think, unique topic was knowledge aggregation um, and uh, a discussion of sort of how um, we can share clinical knowledge, make it more broadly acceptable to or, uh, uh, accessible to physicians um, around the world who have questions um, that we're asking um, and sort of fundamentally make it make a knowledge library. So. Um, those were the kind of highlighted themes at Astro. There were a number of sort of other like scientific sessions uh, presenting work, um, uh, different types of applications of AI. Um, the um, what, you know, one of the um, things that we that we presented um, that ended up uh, being highlighted was um, our work on uh, uh, our AI um, models based on uh, wearable devices, uh, where they aggregate sort of activity data during um, patients' treatment, um, and how we can use that uh, to improve sort of clinical management, um, which hopefully will get implemented on a on a cooperative group trial. Um, the other things that I can think of that that got highlighted. Um, uh, I think there was a um, there was a session um, on um, essentially international efforts in AI and trying to coordinate different. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I think Astro um, uh, is by nature sort of. Um, I guess it's in its name, but Astro is um, uh, uh, U.S. centric, but we have a number of sort of international collaborators, and it was good to kind of hear their um, you know thoughts and experience on uh, like. Uh, around the world on on sort of advancing advancing AI, um, but um, I think there were a lot of um, like neat sessions with different types of applications, and I think there are a lot of like exciting things that are coming through the pipeline in, in radiation oncology and oncology in general. So there was um, there was also a session on just to kind of round things out in case there's anything interesting here. Um, but there was a session on uh, natural language processing as well. Um, a lot of opportunities for. NLP in um, parsing clinical data um, and uh, trying to improve uh, the types of information we can get out of out of routinely collected um, data as well. Um, there was, a, I think, a well attended session on AI, AI, AI fairness and bias, which kind of um, uh, dovetails with uh, some of the topics that were emphasized during the presidential symposium. Um, but uh, I think uh, it's an area that is increasingly being appreciated for how important it is. Um, and um, I know that that session was also particularly 
um, well attended. Um, so uh, I guess those are kind of the main highlights I can I can think of that that are sort of worth mentioning too. 